Welcome back to the Stock Market College virtual tutorial series. Tonight I will be doing a virtual tutorial on the application of the RSI Relative Strength Index indicator. You can find this indicator within your profit course within Quick Charts on page 86. If you go into your profit course you'll see it starts uh, momentum indicators relative strength index page 86 give you an explanation on the indicator as well as some charts giving you graphic description then also the formula how the relative strength index is formulated some inter interpretations in terms of support and resistance utilizing the indicator chart formations and so forth um, so go to your course on page 86 and do read on uh, the RSI within that course. Then open up your quick charts with the blue icon and go and select a stock. I'll go and choose the old favorite Anglos. I like to maximize my charts to get a nice full view. And then I go and select six months to get a closer look at the stock. Uh, right, so we've got six months on Anglos. Relative strength index can be found between RS and Stochastic. Click on RSI and the RSI will appear. You'll see there are two lines drawn in. I took the liberty of drawing these lines in uh, before I started the, the VT. 30 is the buy level traditionally on RSI. 70 is traditionally the sell level. In other words, if a stock trends off or above 30, that normally confirms a bullish buying signal and when it bounces um, below 70 it normally indicates a reversal or a sell signal. Some stocks will trend above 70, go through 18, even 19 to the low 90, um, upper 90s um, but not all stocks perform in that way. Um, you also have stocks pushing below 30, below 20, even below 10 sometimes on the RSI but as you can see Anglos tends to bounce off 30 when it does get there. Now as you can see if I use my walking line you'll see that bounce off the 30 level on the RSI over there was exactly where the stock at the bottom of a year reversed from its downward trend. So as it bounced off 30 at the, at the top on the RSI you see the trend reversed and eventually it moves through the moving averages, the moving averages cross and the, the trend is confirmed further up. The relative strength is a forward weighted indicator, so in other words it's very fast and aggressive in its interpretation unlike a MACD which is a lot, which is a lot slower, um, it's a lot more convincing. Your RSI is like your friend that drives fast cars, um, likes to party, stays out late at night. Um, he's, he gets to hear about things first hand very quick. Um, but uh, just to simplify this, you know, above 30 traditionally is uh, a buy signal and then below 70 is a sell. Relative strength index, uh, very nice indicator, forward weighted. Um, use it uh, in your arsenal. It is a very effective indicator to use. Hope you enjoyed this VT. Speak to you soon.